Hello future Shopify store owners. In this video, I want to show you and explain you the differences between the different plans that Shopify offers. So when you're gonna be ready to select the plan after your trial or if you're ready to start, you're gonna have different options. You have three main plans that Shopify has, which is basic, Shopify, and advanced. And this is for 2020, uh, should be the same in the next months, next years, but uh, we are in 2020. You also have two other plans that are optional, which is the Shopify Plus. Uh, basically, this is for really big businesses, as it says, high volume merchant. Uh, and this will roughly cost about $2,000 a month. Uh, you also have the Shopify Lite, which uh, you don't have a store so you're going to be able to sell on facebook or with a chat uh, you can add button for your products and your products to another website let's say you have uh, you have a wordpress website to your blog uh, and you can accept credit card payments so you don't have a shop in shopify that you can market but you have options to sell on facebook uh, by chat and in any other store in any other website that you have and this will cost you nine dollars per month so shopify Lite, if that's an option for you shopify plus if you're a really big uh, merchant and you have high volumes and you need another a lot of options that's going to be for you but in this video we're going to concentrate for uh, on the three main plans that shopify has to offer the most popular plan for any any store starting on on shopify will be the basic one this uh, will most properly fit the majority of you starting with with something small and don't forget you can always upgrade later on there in my opinion there are three main components that differentiate each plan first of all it's going to be the number of staff accounts Second of all, it's going to be your extra options, as you can see here, gift cards, professional report, and then it's going to be how much you're paying per transaction, uh, which we're going to see over here on the credit card. Obviously, the more you pay for your plan, the less you're going to pay for your transactions. So let's see the details for each plan. Let me explain the features that are included with your Shopify plan. The first one is the online store. This is creating your website, having a blog, offering your products to sell. Second one is unlimited products. So if you have 10 products or a thousand products, you can you have that feature with any of the plan. Staff account, this is really important. As I said, there's a difference between each plan. As you can see, the basic one has two staff account. The Shopify one has five and the advanced one has 15. This is important based on uh, how big is your store or how big is your team. So if it's only you managing the store, you're, you're fine with the basic because you have your account and you can have somebody else managing your Shopify store. But if you are a big team, you have somebody that needs to work on your blog, someone's gonna manage the inventory, someone's gonna manage customer service, then in that case, maybe you need four or five different staff accounts to access your Shopify store. So you will not be able to do that just with the basic Shopify because it includes only two. When the Shopify, the middle one, is gonna include five. So this is case by case and depends on, on your situation. Next feature is the 24 seven support. Maybe you know this, but because you're paying monthly to Shopify, they manage your hosting and they also offer 24 seven support. So no matter what's your issue, if you need to talk to somebody from Shopify, something's not working on, you always have a 24 seven support. The next feature is sales channel. By sales channel, they mean uh, you can sell on your store, but also maybe you want to sell on Facebook or on Instagram. This is included with all the Shopify plans. Manual order creation means you can create an order for one of your customers directly from your Shopify store. Discount codes is self-explanatory. Free SSL certificate. 
this is a security certificate for your domain name as you can see here on the top left of shopify they have https the s stands for secure and you you if you click on it you have connection secure so this is important because you have customers that they're gonna create maybe an account they're gonna pay with your with a credit card so it's important for um, customers and visitors to feel a, a sense of security when they do make transaction on your website then you have the abandoned card recovery feature which is pretty useful to send a notification or an email to a customer that created a cart that added product to their cart but they didn't go through checkout yet so shopify can send them an email or a notification for them to continue with their cart so all of these features that i just mentioned are included with all of the plans now let's see two features that the the middle shopify plan has that the basic doesn't first one is gift cards so if you want to sell or give gift cards to your customers with the basic one you will not be able to do that but with the middle plan you will same thing for professional reports with the basic you're gonna have standard reports with the middle one you're gonna have professional reports that you can make and with the advanced you're gonna have advanced report builder so this is more complex depending on what you're selling how many products what you want to know about your online store and if you want to grow it or improve it talking about the advanced Shopify plan you will also get um, third-party calculated shipping rates this basically means that on your checkout you will be able to get um, a precise and customized shipping rate for your customers if not you can only show a flat rate so if somebody orders from uh, from New York and you ship from Chicago you can set a standard rate let's say ten dollars but if you have the third party calculated shipping rate Shopify will be able to calculate the precise rate so maybe in that case it's gonna be 11 and 25 cents so that's the big difference you also have Shopify shipping that you can use to prepare your shipping and print the labels depending on the plan you have you will have a different discount the the more you pay for your plan the bigger the discount will be same thing for your Shopify payments Shopify has their own payment method so instead of using PayPal you're gonna use Shopify payments if you use Shopify payments you have just to pay them the the credit card fees as we saw depending on the plan that you're getting the more you pay for your plan the less you're gonna pay for credit card fees if you want if you don't want to use Shopify payments you want to use something else this is the additional fee using all pay payment provider instead of Shopify payments they're gonna charge you an extra 2% so even if you have um, let's say you want to use only PayPal PayPal is gonna charge you something like 2% and then Shopify is gonna charge you 2% on top of that because you don't use Shopify payments and this goes lower uh, again the more you pay for your plan the other features you can have with with Shopify is your point of sale or POS so all of them they include Shopify POS app which you can have it on on your iPad or uh, an Android tablet but then with the other plans which is the Shopify and the Shopify advanced you're gonna have different options like register shifts um, hardware preferred support because the basic one doesn't include support you can have pins for your staff and store location so this is really important if you have multiple stores it will be a good feature for you to have so this is it um, I hope it's a little bit more clear for you right now if you do have any questions please use the comments below on, on, on YouTube directly and ask any question over there I'm gonna try to answer them you can see this page directly on Shopify website just go to uh, to shopify.ca or shopify.com and then click on pricing you're gonna have all the details over here also if you want to have a special discount if you're not subscribed yet to Shopify just click on on the top corner link um, that it's showing on your screen right now it's gonna direct you to this page where I have special discounts depending on 
um, the plan that you're going to select. So if you're choosing the basic, the Shopify plan or the advanced, I have different discounts and, and rebates I can give you for anyone that doesn't have an account yet. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Have a good day.